Apple just did something completely unexpected. The Mac Studio with M3 Ultra has arrived, and it's an absolute monster. But there's something missing. No M4 Ultra. Why? Well, the answer might shock you. Let's start with the obvious. This machine is a powerhouse. We're talking 32 CPU cores, 80 GPU cores, 512 G8 of unified memory. This is Apple Silicon at its peak. And yet, Apple stuck with M3 Ultra instead of moving forward to M4 Ultra. Why? The truth is, it might have been too powerful. The gap between M4 Max and an M4 Ultra could have been so huge that Apple decided to hold off, perhaps saving it for the Mac Pro. Physically, the Mac Studio remains the same, but there are key changes. If you opt for the M3 Ultra, you get full Thunderbolt 5 support. But if you go with the M4 Max, those front ports? Just regular USB-C. That's a strange move, but it makes the M3 Ultra version even more appealing. Now, let's talk performance. In Cinebench R24, the M3 Ultra crushes expectations, beating out even the latest Intel chips. It's 41% faster than M4 Max and nearly 50% faster than M2 Ultra. That's not just an upgrade, that's domination. But single core performance? That's where M4 Max sneaks ahead. It's faster for quick, single-threaded tasks like loading web pages or opening apps. But in real-world use, will you notice the difference? Not really. The M3 Ultra is still a beast where it matters. And here's where things get really interesting. AI performance. If you work with large language models, this machine is a dream. With up to 512 gigabyte of unified memory, you can run massive AI models directly on your Mac, something that used to require multiple GPUs on a high-end PC. The M3 Ultra lets you load models like DeepSeq 2.5, a 160 billion parameter model, all within memory. For creators, it's a mixed bag. Photoshop? Oddly enough, M4 Max comes out on top. Maybe Adobe software isn't optimized to use all the cores yet. But in video editing, the M3 Ultra demolishes everything. In Premiere Pro, it's 43% faster than M4 Max and 50% faster than M2 Ultra. Even DaVinci Resolve benefits, pushing out renders faster than ever before. Now, let's talk GPU performance. The M3 Ultra isn't just faster than the M4 Max, it's in the same league as an RTX 4090 laptop GPU. That's massive. Blender benchmarks prove it, up to 76% faster than M2 Ultra. But here's the real kicker. While an RTX 590 system pulls 575 watts, the Mac Studio barely reaches 300 Dolby at full tilt. That's insane efficiency. But what about gaming? Well, it's not a gaming machine, but Apple's making strides. Baldur's Gate 3, a solid 130-140 FPS at QHD, a 30 frame boost over M4 Max. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 20 FPS higher than before. It's still not the best gaming option, but for a Mac, it's getting seriously good. So what's the bottom line? The Mac Studio with M3 Ultra is a powerhouse, but not for everyone. If you're a video editor, it's worth it. If you're deep into AI, it's a must have. But if you're a Photoshop user or a general creative, stick to M4 Max. This time, the extra cost for M3 Ultra might not be worth it. Either way, Apple just set a new standard. The question is, are you ready for it?